Well, good morning, everybody. It's Carpo here. My uh, question for the day is, why do we have intelligence at all? In a universe that seems to be functioning just fine without it, why do we have intelligence? This is one of the longest standing philosophical questions because the research I've done into those who study evolution and random mutation say that evolving a consciousness may have actually been a detriment to our species because it allowed us to analyze, overanalyze things around us which may uh, cause us problems. At the same time you could argue that that consciousness allowed us to plan better for our hunts, to understand gathering, uh, being conscious of the seasons. Um, perhaps consciousness evolved out of our losing that natural connection to everything, or what some people think that we once had, this psychic connection. Uh, perhaps the universe phased that out for some reason and, and we began using intelligence instead. Regardless of the reason, we have it. The question is, is it useful? I heard someone say something earlier that I'm still processing. He said that uh, intelligence is nothing more than our, um, how did he put it? He said intelligence allows us to see what's wrong around us and correct it. And there's nothing more, no more of a function of it. I can't disagree or agree because I just heard it a while back and I, I haven't really processed it yet, but I can agree to an extent and see where he's coming from. You know, intelligence allows us to correct things around us we see wrong. Unfortunately, it also allows us to create things that are wrong and overanalyze everything. So we get into this debate about why we have consciousness at all. And this has been the stem, the root of religion, philosophy, occult knowledge, all different belief systems, all different ideas, all stemmed from our consciousness and awareness of who we are, of being aware that we are beings. So, what do we do with it? What do we do with this consciousness that we have? You know, that's one of the, um, uh, you know, that is the million dollar question right there. It's, uh, what are we supposed to be doing with it, if anything? Now, I don't buy the random mutation theory. That's my personal opinion. I believe in evolution through purposeful mutation over time, if that makes sense. I believe that there is a blueprint for life that is carried through light and impressed upon organic matter and organisms. <coughs> that consciousness is not just humans or smarter animals, but insects, amoeba, bacteria. I proposed an idea last year that our bodies may be vessels for hauling bacteria <laughs> and uh, that we may have evolved to actually, I guess in a way, be conscious for a purpose as if the bacteria, let's put it this way, your body has about a hundred trillion cells and it has 10 times more bacteria than your own natural cells. And uh, it just leads one to believe that we're more than just humans, we're more than just bags. And we're just talking about bacteria here. There are viruses that live within us forever, there are all kinds of uh, different life forms that all make up one. So when we say that we're conscious humans, we can't really say that without including all these other bacteria. So, in a way, 
you know, although our consciousness may be light, could it be a byproduct of bacteria? Could it be something that we would hate to admit the fact that we as humans don't really know shit, <laughs> but where is this wisdom going? Where are all the things we're learning going? Seems like they're going right into the compost pile sometimes. I always love hearing the nice argument about something that has never been proven one way or the other. Instead of like saying the possibilities of this, it's like, nope, this is the way it is. Consciousness, I guess, is just that thing that makes me want to wake up and make a video. <laughs> that thing that makes me want to grow my own vegetables and that thing that allows me to see the beauty in everything around me. Anyway, take care everybody. Hope you have a great day.